part two. Because of the tremendous support of all the students, we are here with the second video of science two, which are going to be covered on the following topic. The topics are heredity and evolution, life process in living organism, life process in organism part two, environmental management and towards the green energy. So these are the five topics and their important question is going to be covered in this video. The purpose of this video is to understand the student how to make a preparation for the 10th standard, especially for writing our board examination. When we are appearing for the board examination, what is the ideal answer is required? That is the basic thing is mentioned in this video. So all students are requested, please follow this rule. These are the some ideal questions and these ideal question, if you write in this way, on the basis of this, you can write the answers of the remaining question. So let us move to the question number one. The question number one is, the choose the correct alternatives here in the board examination we have a question followed by always four options let a b c d and many times the students are writing the entire statement and in the form of the fill in the blanks see that in the board itself it is clearly mentioned that you have to write the answer of its option so here are the some questions and their options how you can go to be right in your final board examination. So the question number one is regeneration occur in dash. So options are in amoeba. Second option is in paramecium. Third option is euglena and fourth is the planaria. So among this is the given animal which can be regenerate. Regeneration is a one type of asexual reproduction and the correct answer of this question is a planaria. So while when you write the answer, you have to write only the option D. The planaria is the animal who can regenerate or we can reproduce by regeneration. So the correct answer is option D. Only these things you have to be right. Now let us move to the next question. The next question in the fill in the blanks is lactobacillus breveries gives us dash breverage. So lactobacillus as the name is mentioned here is the name of the bacteria. Nowadays we can use the bacteria for to produce some essential or useful thing and useful bacteria. So we consume a lot of beverages now just like a Pepsi, uh, the thumbs up, the other beverages like tea and coffee. So if we want to prepare the beverages from lactobacillus, which beverages we can get? It? It's a coca, it's a coffee, it's a wine and it's a cedar. Cedar is an apple cedar. It is, uh, it is obtained from the apple. So among these, in which you can use the lactobacillus breveries, we you will get the beverage is the correct answer is coffee. So nowadays we are drinking the coffee which is obtained from the microbes called lactobacillus breveries, which gives the beverages called these all are the beverages, but with the help of this bacteria, we are getting the beverages called as the coffee. Now move to the third question. A minor change occur due to the change in the position of any nucleotide is termed as. In the chapter 1 heredity and evolution, we are learn about what is heredity, transcription, translation and translocation. And here also uh, we are, uh, the question is given here, the, what if the what happen if there is a minor change in a position of nucleotide which is present in the DNA. It is called as a transcription, translation, mutation or a translocation. This transcription, translation and translocation 
are the process related to mrna trna process but when this uh, minor changes is taken place a new type of organism is formed and these minor changes give rise to new type of organism with a some different characteristic so correct answer of this question is a mutation here you have to write only option c of the given question not enter question in the form of the fill in the blanks that you have to keep in mind now coming to the question number 4 that is a uh, towards a green energy topic atomic power plant in maharashtra is in which area so there are some areas are given in maharashtra or in india we can produce the electricity in a different pattern out of that we have to focus only on atomic power plant so it is in chandrapur it is in koina it is in tarapur or it is in anjanwel so it is the atomic power plant and this atomic power plant the correct answer is option c and that is called as a tarapur in maharashtra where we produce the electricity using a nuclear power plant which is a that's called atomic power plant because we using the nuclear energy now this is the four question of mcq the fifth question dash term is used in a thermal power plant means which type of source of fuel is used in a thermal power plant the thermal means a heat a thermal word is a physics word that is meaning is a heat so to get an heat how you can obtain the heat in a thermal power plant is it by coal is it by uranium is it by natural gas is it by water so from everywhere you will get the heat but in a thermal power plant to uh, heat the water we required a fuel called coal therefore correct answer is a coal uranium is a uh, called nuclear power plant and water if you is called hydro electrical power plant so here you have to write the option as a e now this is the question 1 a of one mark each is over then we have a question 1 b now when we have to answer especially of question 1 b you have to keep in following points in mind your answer should be one word your answer should be in one word it should be one line on when we use a one word or a one line please keep in mind that the use a proper terminology the word should be a textual words are required because many times students writing by their own words you have to keep in your mind to get an out of marks you have to write the textual terms that is uh, what in the textual in the sense we can say it's a scientific term you have to write it now let us move to the question 1b again there will be total five questions are going to be asked and you have to answer each in detail so these are the some uh, model ideal answers are given the question 1 is state whether the statement is true or false now here the statement is the power available from a solar cell is a ac now we know that uh, we can produce a power sustainable source of energy using a solar power plant but the when we use a solar power plant we get an energy of dc not an ac and that's why we have to use the transformer and therefore the statement is a false statement and you can make a, a, if the question is asked do it is true or false if it is a false statement then you can make it the power available for solar cell is uh, instead of ac you can write a dc by making the correct statement is that will give an additional information impact on the examiner that the students are has a good knowledge of that particular subject that you have to keep in your mind now coming to the question number 2 which is the correlation in a correlation the question is a uh, ovary is a female reproductive organ produces a hormone called 
estrogen than in a male reproductive system the testis produces which type of hormone and the answer is testosterone is the hormone is produced from the testis so in this case what you can do you can write entire question followed by the fill in the blanks and you can make underline and that will be the correlation that will be give a better impact on the examiner now let us move to the question number 3 the question number 3 is the match the pair now in a column a we have a male word is written and followed by there is a gamete formation in a male 44 uh, somatic cell and the other is the group of the germ cells is given that chromosome uh, both x both y and we know that in a male it contain 44 somatic cells and one x and y of a opposite type of chromosomes both are present in x and y so correct answer is option c 44 xy while keep in your mind that when you do the match the pair don't write this all entire thing just uh, the column a and the correct answer of the column b 44 plus xy this is the only thing is required for the match the pair now coming to the question 4 give any to example of natural disaster though it is an open ended question so you have to write the answer a textual based what is given in the first textbook that will be preferred first so uh, if you have a more number of examples you can write more number of examples so here are the some examples are earthquake is a natural disaster that we know a flood is a natural disaster and tsunami is also a natural disaster related to this or in our textbook or what we you feel as a natural disaster what you observe that thing you can write one thing is to be very clear that you have to avoid the spelling mistake while writing the answer of this question now let us move to the question 1b fifth question and uh, see that there is no option for question 1 a and 1 b so when we this question 1 a and 1 b uh, reading of proper textbook is very very important those who are very good in reading of textbook and uh, writing the important points they are getting a full marks and the chances of getting a mark to be deducted in the question 1 a and 1 b because objective question has a specific answer and exact answer so many times students are not able to write this answer and they are getting the wrong part now suppose uh, for us it is question is ask the write the scientific name of a human being though the question is very easy very simple but what will be the ideal answer so here the ideal answer is for many times students write it is a homo sapiens but why homo sapien we know that the carl linnaeus is a scientist uh, there is a binomial normal creation is there where we call the species followed by its genus so we have to uh, know that what you have to mention that what is homo and what is mean by sapiens a genus means uh, the genus of a human being a scientific name we called as an homo sapien the genus is a homo so what is mean by homo homo means a morphology morphology means external structure a st external structure that we we can observe a human like animal started means we know that the human are evolved from the monkey so do monkey which from that monkey the man start or a man like animal start to be evolved and that is called as a homo so homo means there is a certain change in external structure that's why we called as a homo then what is the sapien as a evolution take place after so many years the last 50000 years back the man has start developing his brain and it is included in the class of sapien so what is mean by sapien 
sapien means those organism or uh, the human being which is i mean under among the all animals a wise type of animals is called an sapien and therefore the scientific name is homo sapien though the question is for the one mark you have to write the answer as well as its explanation about a uh, question number 2 a question number 2 is a uh, give scientific reason and one thing you have to keep in mind about the when the question comes for a uh, give scientific reason then student has to be follow certain rules in the previous video also i explain some rules for give scientific reason see so that to get an uh, out of mark in a give scientific reason see that your all statement what the statement you are writing should be a scientific statement means there the terminology should be a scientific but what times the students are writing the answer in their natural languages what they are writing just like in english so they will not get the marks because science is the special type of knowledge subject where it has their own terminology we have to use this terminology here we can see uh, one give reason the question is duckbill platypus is a connecting link now as i told in the previous video also ki how to elaborate with the answer of this question you will do the parts of it now the first part is duckbill platypus this is my variable number 1 and the second variable is a connecting link so this question focuses on two relation one is a duckbill platypus and the second is a connecting link then i have to explain first what is mean by connecting link what is mean by duckbill platypus and the secondly how it is correlated with that so the answer of this question will be like this way first i will write the answer of the question by the definition of connecting link so the my first point is a definition of connecting link so here i written the definition of connecting link some plants and animal show some morphological morphological as i told in the previous slide also it is external character by which they can related to two different groups means animal is one but it shows the characteristic of two different group of a different phylum we called as a connecting link so this is the my first point as i told you about this is the connecting link now why the duckbill platypus is related to the connecting link so here the statement number 2 says that duckbill platypus shows resemble characteristic of phylum this word is very very important called phylum reptiles and mammals means this duckbill platypus shows the characteristic of a phylum called reptile and mammals then the my next definitely point comes why and what is mean by reptile so you have to point number 3 is mammals and the reptiles so what is mean by mammals a uh, mammary glands are present means in a duckbill platypus the characteristic of mammals is that mammary gland is present therefore it shows the resemble characteristic of mammals as well as Uh, laid the eggs like a reptile so both the characteristic of phylum of reptiles and mammals are seen in the duckbill platypus and therefore it is a connecting link and the last point we can conclude here it exhibit the characteristic of both reptiles that egg laying capacity and mammals like milk secretion and therefore it is a connecting link between the two animals while writing the answer of give scientific reason be very very strict to the terminology if your terminology is perfect then only you will get the answer out of marks for that particular question 
Now the second question is, we feel tired after exercise. When we do exercise uh, regularly or uh, means continuously for half an hour or more than half an hour, a person feel tired. Now, what is the relation between that? Then again, you can make a part that feel tired is one variable and exercise is second variable and the third is an after. Means if you do a before exercise and after exercise, what is going to be happen that you have to explain. Means you are doing exercise, what is the process? And if you are not doing exercise, what is going to be process? So answer of this question is the two technical terms is there. One is called shortage of an oxygen and the second is anaerobic respiration. These are the two terminological word are correlated with the answer of this question. That is we feel tired after exercise. So what is that shortage of oxygen and anaerobic respiration shortage of oxygen in the sense when we perform normal homeostatic condition then the normal range of oxygen is required but when we perform exercise we required more oxygen than usually you are getting from your lungs so in that sense the word shortage of oxygen is there because we perform exercise we require excess of oxygen and we are not getting in that way Therefore, it is a shortage of oxygen. And the second point, when we do exercise, for our body, constant supply of oxygen in that intensity, similarly, to do the work, glucose is also required. Or glucose is utilized while we are performing an exercise. So, both the things are essential. The constant supply of oxygen and constant oxidation of glucose should be present while the exercise and the thing is happen that when we do exercise there is a fall short of sometime the oxygen and the decomposition of glucose not properly take place as a result short due in muscles and tissue due to absence of oxygen they perform anaerobic respiration and when they perform anaerobic respiration, here I explain what it mean by anaerobic respiration. And this anaerobic respiration, the byproduct is obtained is a lactic acid and the ATP that is additional triphosphate in a less amount. When we perform aerobic respiration, we get 38 ATP of energy. And when we do anaerobic, we get a less than that. And the, both the causes of say production of lactic acid, less amount of energy than we require. And as a result, a body get less energy. Lactic acid causes fatigue and the combination of both to give a feel tired type of emotion to that particular person. And therefore we feel tired after exercise. Now coming to the question number three, total three questions are going to be asked in a given scientific reason and you have to write uh, only two of it. Now the, this third given scientific reason is an open-ended type of question is there, but whenever though it is open-ended or it is uh, textual based or conceptual based, you have to think in mind that, again I will do the part of this, Biofuel, this is the one variable is used. Other is the renewable sources of energy. That is my second variable. And the third is an important. Now, how I can correlate it, my answer. What is biofuel? What is mean by renewable sources of energy? And the point will be one with relation three, one with relation two and two with relation three if my all these statements are present and if i able to stay that or stick with that how they are correlated with the each other then my answer is going to be a perfect answer for that particular question will be there so let us see what exact answer of this particular question is so as i told you that you have to write first biofuel here i written what it mean by biofuel using biomass Biomass 
it means vegetable biomass during the process uh, process of photosynthesis some organism produce using a living organism this is what we call biomass a fuel is obtained is called biofuel means if you use a raw material of bio or a degradable type of material is used we what we call as biomass and from that by doing certain process we obtain the fuel which we called as a biofuel now what is the ideal fuel is there uh, this biomass or this fuel can be obtained from the coal or crop residue which is not in use and from the vegetable oil also and this is a crop residue as well as vegetable oil is a renewable and we form in abundant form and these are the renewable sources of energy which is available in solid liquid and gas which is the characteristic of ideal fuel and the it is also eco friendly sustainable fuel and therefore we can use or we can say that biofuel is an important renewable source of energy other than the other traditional source of energy because other traditional source of energy causes pollution and uh, they are going to be in the future there is the chance of exhausting is also possible now this is the question 2a about the give reason now question 2b are the two mark question where we have to write how to write the answer of this question now especially uh, in question 2b if such this type of conceptual chart is question is asked and uh, if you know and some extra and additional information then you have to write it so evidences of evolution is asked so we know that there are total in our textbook six evidences of evolution are there so out of you have to write four it means it is not necessary to write four the minimum four is essential you can add one more here and one more here and uh, the teacher can take which which create an impression for us so what will be the evidences of evolution the connecting links morphological evidences then vestigial organ and anatomical evidence here we can do one thing additional that i can write example of this question anatomical exa example of this so you can add this point which gives a good impression on the examiner so these are the small small thing is there we have to show that you are the different than any other normal student then only you will get the marks for that so this is about the conceptual chart now we'll move to the question number 2 uh the distinguish between sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction even in the last episode of science 1 uh, how to write about the distinguish between so normally uh, student are making two column here we are make a total three columns the first column is of a point second two column that as it is which is given for us so here the sexual and asexual reproduction so i here write in the first point reproduction occur so sexual reproduction occur in uh, what we called as uh, in a uh, here again the part comes a sexual reproduction uh, here it is asexual part is there actually this is somatic cell should be uh, here and uh, it should be term here so for student are requested to adjust this term a sexual reproduction take place in a somatic cell and sexual reproduction take place with the gamete what is that a a sexual reproduction take place in a somatic cell somatic cell means body cell this part is of the sexual reproduction a sexual reproduction and for sexual reproduction so please interchange this part number of parent in a sexual reproduction is one means uh, you can do one thing in this case here it is you make the column a sexual reproduction here you make the sexual reproduction then entire column will be a uh, very clear a sexual reproduction take place in somatic with the gamete with the sexual number of parent is involved in a sexual is one and in sexual reproduction two with a opposite gametes and cell division only mitosis 
and here in sexual reproduction mitosis as well as meiosis students are once again request that in this slide you have to make uh, some changes here a sexual part it comes in the first column asexual in the second column so make it that the column number 1 is asexual and column number 2 is a sexual reproduction now the third question is uh, the question is asked that draw a neat and level diagram of a sexual reproduction in a plant so here already diagram is shown to you you have to draw the proper diagram and the labeling at least uh, four labeling is essential so when you do the labeling the proper arrows is also required or you can write put it is one it is two and at the here you can write point number one is a corolla point number two is a style in this way also you can give the labeling and if you want to give some extra information then you can write this is the hibiscus plant or a ts of a hibiscus flower that also you can explain now coming to the question number 4 what are the this is again the uh, open ended question what are the benefits of mixing ethanol with the petrol now petrol is a traditional uh, fuel we are using and ethanol is a renewable source of energy you know the cost of the petrol is more and it is going to be exhaust one day is it possible that ethanol is added in the petrol what will be the benefit now answer of this question should be point wise number 1 once you add ethanol with the petrol a very first point comes that it reduces the air pollution second point uh, if any your vehicle gives an average of whatever say 35 km per hour then if you add ethanol then your fuel efficiency also increases the second thing is that that when uh, the petrol mix with ethanol is burned while running the vehicle the emission of the gases is very lower and which help in the greenhouse effect and another and very important uh, nowadays the petrol diesel are become so costly but if you uh, have a use ethanol then it is a renewable source of energy and we can reduce the deficiency on our the fossil fuel and the cost cutting is also possible so you can add the point that cost cutting is also possible when you mix ethanol with the petrol you can add one or two points by yourself now coming to the fifth question what precaution followed to maintain reproductive health now the answer of this question is mention see how i written the answer here the main aim of our uh, youtube video channel is that how to write or how to write the answer to get a out of mark a precaution for maintaining reproductive health first you have to maintain a personal hygiene you can word add here uh, you have to maintain your personal hygiene followed by uh, you have to take the balanced diet and avoid harmful habit like smoking and alcohol etc you can add one or two things and regular medical checkups which will be the best criteria for precaution of maintaining reproductive health as we know that india is a country with the more amount of uh, youngest population and in this youngest population the reproductive health is now a very important part because if you not take a precautions of here then maybe in the future now india is a capital of say diabetes so maybe in the future india may be the capital of the diseases related to the reproductive health so to avoid this we have to uh, make this point to be noted so this is about uh, the question number 2 uh, how to write the answer of this particular question and their question number 3 answer the following question see that these all questions are carry 3 marks 
so whenever the question of three mark is there then you have to be very strict with your answer see what question is asked and what you are writing coming to uh, because the question 3a will be contain point wise answer so this is a uh, question is subdivided into two or three parts so first part of this question is question third 1a what are the vitamins then here you have to stick with the definition of vitamin and when we write any definition of anything in our answer of the question is you have to follow the strict rule of the what is given terminology in the textbook so here is the definition point is vitamins are heterogeneous compound so what do you mean by heterogeneous compound a different type of material is used different chemicals are mixed together it look to be one part but they are different essential for the body means it is these two words are very very important these are heterogeneous compound essential for the body to perform various function so it indicate that if the vitamins are less or less than your minimum quantity which you require for your body then your essential body function will be not performed properly and the second part is also mentioned there ki what are the types of vitamin so here i made the chart so instead of writing directly you can make the chart types of vitamins are water soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins are vitamin b and vitamin c here you can write the vitamin b complex also because vitamin b is a group of vitamins vitamin a d e and k are the fat soluble vitamins now uh, these fat soluble vitamins are further uh, you can write either in this way which i explained just now or you can uh, make the chart like this way also so both the way you can write the answer and the types of vitamins we see here but again the part comes that the name you have to write so here some uh, vitamins are mentioned how they are very very important so nads2 and fads2 in the production of glycolysis process and krebs cycle this fads2 which is we called as a riboflavin the vitamin b2 is called as a riboflavin vitamin b5 is called nicotinamide vitamin a uh, is called as a retinol vitamin b3 is called as niacin and vitamin c is called as ascorbic acid this thing you have to remember huh? and vitamin d is called as calciferol so many times in exam this question is asked vitamin b2 is called as riboflavin b5 is called nicotinamide b3 is a niacin vitamin c is an ascorbic acid and vitamin d is called as calciferol so this is about the vitamin the second question is now a uh, days we are asking the question based on the paragraph now in the paragraph see the question is you are given the option say oxygen pyridines mechanical carbon dioxide petroleum fatal polyester and norcardia these are the different all eight words are given to you and you have to fit these words in the fill in the blanks now what is the passage is a spilling of dash occur oil occurs in the ocean due to the various region then here either you write the complete the passage and you have to write answer in the box so spilling of dash oil so which oil the petroleum oil occurs in the ocean due to the various region because when we travel because many big ships are travel from the ocean then petroleum oil gets spill over the surface these oil may prove dash and toxic aquatic organism it means when this petroleum 
oil falls on the surface of the earth that is prove uh, to be a fatal fatal means harmful so here we can write the word fatal and toxic to the aquatic organism means if this oil spill which uh, petroleum oil uh, fills uh, falls on the surface of the oil fatal and it is not easy to remove and this can be removed water by the method that method is called mechanical method so here it will become that the mechanical method is used so for the first we have a petroleum for second point we have a fatal and for the third point we have a mechanical so the first paragraph is over here see whenever you write the paragraph you have to write the complete paragraph and in the complete paragraph you have to make a box and underline that particular now however the this oil spill how you can remove it so now in biotechnology we use some pseudomonas sap and alkinovorax brokamenesis these are the bacteria these are the name of the two bacteria have a ability to destroy the harmful chemicals which harmful chemicals called pyridines so this is comes at pyridines which is a harmful chemicals hence these bacteria are used to clear oil spills and this is called hydroclastic bacteria which is called hcb the hcb decompose the hydrocarbon and bring about the reaction of carbon with oxygen so there comes an oxygen carbon dioxide water from this process species of bacteria called norcardia so like this way we can fill in the blanks using this so please keep in mind that see how many uh, fill in the blanks are there how many words are given there according to that you have to fill in the blanks now move to the question number 3 the question 3 is that observe the picture and answer the following question so on the right side we have a picture is given which is a image of the textbook so many times uh, we just read it and we cannot write the proper answer so the question is identify the given diagram so many times just student write it is a windmill see as i told you that the question is very easy very simple but you have to strictly follow what our textbook says so the correct answer of this question is schematic of windmill actual windmill is not shown here it's a diagram it's a structure shown is there therefore this word is very very important call schematic of windmill if you write only windmill then you will not get a full marks now coming to the next question what is the source of energy in this project so here also student write a very uh, simple and very uh, answer not related to the textbook so here we can write the answer which energy a kinetic energy of the wind many times student just write only the wind because if the wind is everywhere but if it is not flowing or blowing with the speed of lot of kinetic energy then the shaft will not move or the blades of the windmill will not move and we cannot able to produce the wind energy so the kinetic more is the kinetic energy of the wind than more of electricity can we produce therefore it is you can that be the third part of this question why this source is supposed to be eco friendly now here i can explain the answer with more number of points ki why it is eco friendly number 1 it has a low maintenance cost not much setup is required and secondly we can able to produce 1 kilowatt to 7 megawatt power of electric without any pollution eco friendly in the sense we get without any pollution and as well as see the amount of electricity we can produce is 1 kilowatt to 7 megawatt and about the india the total world 
परसेंट ऑफ एनर्जी इज प्रोड्यूस बाय विंड एंड सोलर दिस स्टेटमेंट यू टू बी मेंशन एंड दैट्स व्हाई इको फ्रेंडली मींस एनवायरमेंटल फ्रेंडली कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव सस्टेनेबल एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी यूज दिस एज एन इको फ्रेंडली और वी कैन सी इट इज अ इको फ्रेंडली now the question is of question number 3 is uh, write the objection raised by the darwin theory of natural selection in biology uh, there are so many scientists who changes the thinking behavior of the people and the sudden changes or what you can say there is a proper natural sciences is based by the scientist called darwin a uh, darwin written the book for origin of species and in origin of species book he write some is observations so whenever you write the objection but before going to objection we have to write some important points such as the what are the objection are there so my answer will be start here so my answer point number 1 charles darwin had collected innumerable specimen while he is traveling from one area to another area about the charles darwin he in his journey he collected lot of animals and plant specimen from different countries different continent and they placed together and after placing together by analyzing and by observation means darwin not explain his theory directly whatever the specimen is collected by observation and conclusion he put forward his theory but by observation and conclusion he did not use experimental method see this is a very important part we in a science the experimental part is very very important he is all conclusion based on observation and due to he is not able to cover all areas and therefore some research gap is remain because sometime when we observe something this is your own opinion like this way this is the observation made by the darwin itself and whatever observation he saw and on the basis of that he put his forward theory and this research gap is now we called as the some scientists get an objection that darwin theory they are not completely reject the darwin theory they accept the darwin theory but there are certain objections so what are that objection number 1 darwin is purposely says that only the natural selection is the responsible factor for the evolution but nowadays we come to know that natural selection is the one part not the only one part so this is the lagging behind in point of uh, darwin's theory second he not focused on limited modification because when any living organism goes from one place to another place uh, like a lamarckism theory uh, useful and useless modification is not explained because when the evolution take place there is a changes in animal take place it is always may be useful 100% useful is not possible sometime useless organs are also developed and this is not focus by the darwin in his theory of its natural selection that is the second objection and about the slow changes and adaptation also regarding the animal and plant is not mentioned by the darwin and these are the three objection raised on the darwin's theory of natural selection so you have to write this according to the point why this is my point number 1 this is point number 2 this is point number 3 and this is a point number 4 now uh, we'll come to the question number 3 fifth question you are given with the three different symbol a b and c and the question is asked explain meaning huh? so explain meaning it means you have to elaborate the meaning 
it doesn't uh, you have to write many times we observe that student write the meaning of the picture the picture uh, has certain some explaining points are also required why the three arrows why not four arrows are there and why this arrow and why it is green color that is also you have to mention so uh, here you can write the meaning of this symbol is use of 3 r or it may be 7 r why i written 7 r then you will say that sir here we have only 3 arrows then you are written 7 r but in 9 standard we run 7 r so 3 r and 7 r since to maintain green energy and on earth lot of garbage is produced by ourselves as a human being then who will recycle this garbage and we not able to recycle the garbage then the population is totally utilized for the garbage only and there will be no place for us to live and for that we have to all habit of reuse reduce and recycle this awareness we have to make it in our students and that's why this 3 r or 7 r symbol of it and it help when you reuse reduce recycle we reduce the carbon footprint so these points has to be remembered while writing your answer so this is the a part answer now coming to the b part answer of this question is uh, in this picture we can see a human like figure but a water droplet and a tap is open shown here and in this tap a drop of water is dropping from the tap is also shown so you have to correlate all this part so this picture says that this symbol says that save water not only the save water but also a drinking water so you have to explain that drinking water on earth is very limited and if we go waste this water or polluted water what the drinking is one day we will not get water to drink on this blue planet and therefore we have to save the water you can add your own point also this is the some guidance points are given you can add your own point now coming to the c part of this question it just like a solar panel this is looked at solar panel but a green solar panel so this indicate that you have to use a clean and green energy we require those energy which does not produce any pollution as well as sustainable energy sustainable energy it means the energy should be available in present as well as in the future in the same form and like wind energy solar energy tidal energy if we use then we can make this energy clean and green in that sense this solar panel is shown now coming to the next question this is about the column is given uh, the question is redraw the table redraw the table it means this table which is given in column one column two and column 3 and in answer I read in column 1 is what coal uranium and wind so this is coal this is uranium and this is wind now uh, the column number 2 uh, says that in column number 2 which type of energy in coal produces thermal energy uranium nuclear energy and wind kinetic energy and uh, the third column is its uses uh, thermal energy used in thermal power plant nuclear energy it is in a nuclear power plant and wind energy in wind electricity plant so uh, plant is there so like this way the column 1 column 2 and column 3 so the column 1 will be as it is column 2 will be you have to rearrange and column 3 will be Rearrange. only the correct answer you have to write. don't use the arrows if you use arrows like this way then you will don't get the marks in the examination now the seventh question is also the based on complete the chart the chart is followed by a protein different types of proteins in the human body and where these proteins are produced a name of the organ 
so here it is a fill in the blanks i wrote the answer of this question here so you have to write the answer and you have to make it like double underline you can make the box melanin and creatinine is the protein which is produced in the skin so skin is the organ produces two type of protein called melanin and creatine while the pancreas is the organ which produce insulin and glycogen while the blood is the other organ which produces hemoglobin and antibodies this is a very very important question uh, many times it can be asked in a diagrammatic form it may be asked in the concept map form but here it is asked in the flow chart form so the same question can be asked in the true or false match the following also now a total eight question will be asked in uh, question number 3 and you have to solve any five of it each will carry three marks now the question number 8a is asked is define vestigial organ now question is define vestigial organ so vestigial organ the direct definition we will write the definition is here i am writing two definition that is point number 1 and point number 2 so you can write both a uh, what is that definition one what is the definition of vestigial organ a degenerated underdeveloped useless organ these two words are very essential degenerated means now it is now in used and underdeveloped means not start developing and useless organ of an organism are called vestigial organ in some animals they are still functioning while the other organism same organ is not functioning because their ecology system different their ecosystem different so examples are ear muscles wisdom teeth and tailbone which is also called as coccyx so this thing can be written like this way so the question is what that write the name of two vestigial organ in the human body so here i written ear muscle tailbone in bracket coccyx wisdom teeth and body hair present in a human body so you can write as many as points that gives an a uh, good impression on the examiner and now the question number 3 is last question of question number 3 total 8 will be asked and you have to solve any five a question 8c write the name of those animal in which vestigial organ are still functioning then here i give the two example the appendix is what we called as a vestigial organ in human it is useless now we are not going to use the appendix because we use cooked food but in the ruminants animals the grazing animals they still use their appendix for a digestion of the food and that's why their intestine is large our human being intestine is small and another example the muscles of ear pinna is in human we are not using now but the monkeys are able to move their ear because of ear pinna like this way these are the two organs one is called appendix and the second is ear pinna in the still it is functioning in ruminants and the monkeys are there now come to the last question that is a question number 4 this question number 4 only two questions are asked and each carries five mark so when you write the five mark question again the same rule and regulation you have to be followed that you have to be strict with the terminology so let us move to some model answer questions we are discussing here the question is answer the following question based on human male reproductive system so the question is based on human male reproductive system though the question is on human male reproductive system whatever the extra information or whatever the information mentioned in the textbook or that what you know other than mention in the question you can write that also so coming to the first part of the question which organ sperms are produced or in which organ 
sperms are produced so direct answer is there the sperms are formed in a testis or we can write the sperms are produced in the testis so this is a direct answer so no need to more explanation of this particular question now the second question is what is the length of that sperm so here also straight forward question is there the length of the sperm is approximately 60 micrometer then uh, we can write as a uh, 60 Uh, micrometer you can use this statement also or it is in biology so you can write directly 60 micrometer doesn't matter at all now coming to the third uh, what is the work of vas deferens uh, the work of vas deferens is the transport of sperm from testis to the other duct that is the simple and direct uh, work of that or you can say the function of that and the d question is which type of cell division in the sperms are formed we know that in a reproductive system there are two types of cell division take place uh, or or in the body one is called somatic uh, mitosis and in the sperms are formed the sperms are formed by the process of what we called as a meiosis then uh, the fifth question is there name any two unpaired organ of male reproductive system so one by one we can write it one two three like this way so these are unpaired are urogenital duct comma prostate gland this is one this is prostatal gland two urethra that is number 3 penis number 4 and scrotum number 5 so these are the five different organ which are unpaired mean it is not coming in the pair so this is for the question number 4 all five question we explain here now i'll move to the question number 4 second question which is based on complete the flow chart so the flow chart is based on classification of threatened species and we are provided with four type of columns here or a square or rectangle and we have to answer it so uh, the what will be the answer here the threatened species are endangered species number 1 and here i write the example also lion tail monkey rare species red panda exam mean there are two examples are there red panda and musk deer are in rare species vulnerable species is lion and intermediate species is giant squirrel so here you can uh, write an additional information suppose you get that time you can write the definition also which create a great impression on the examiner but at least uh, this question is of one mark therefore we have to write uh, the species followed by the example the second question is about how you can prevent biodiversity or you conserve the biodiversity and clearly mention four point it means half mark for each point so the points are protecting rare species this is my first point establishing national park and sanctuaries declare some reason as bio reserves places observing rules of government intacted laws what are given by time to time in their updation and conserving of all animals plant and spread grows also and maintain the record of the traditional knowledge india has a good traditional knowledge of the animals because the farmers are completely based on the rain there which animal which bird what are the changes so there are so many traditional records are there we have to maintain like this way we will preserve our biodiversity or we will conserve our biodiversity now uh, the third question is complete the flow chart of color pages of red list in endangered species so red list is uh, of two part is one is a pink pages which contain name of the endangered species and the second is green pages contain name of the previously endangered but now the same species or a safe species and here we can write an additional information 
who are responsible for this list or who control this this is iucn where you can write international union for for conservation of nature so this is we conclude with our model answer thanks for watching and if your suggestions are there what are your suggestions are there always welcome and please forward this video to other student also so they will also get benefited thank you very much and best of